Hi, welcome to Pastor Talk. I'm Pastor Steve. I want to talk to you in this video about judgment. I see really in the scriptures two different judgments. One of the lost, the non-believer, the one that has not made Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior. And then I see a judgment for the Christian. With the Christian's judgment, I see in the scripture, it appears to me, there's two types of judgment. There's the judgment for now, that that we go through now is judged. And then there's the judgment of after we leave this world, which is called the judgment seat of Christ. You know, it tells us in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, it says this, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? And so I see a judgment, really, which begins now. We recognize our sin, we repent, we ask God to forgive us, and we are born again and become a Christian. But then we have a journey that we make in this life, and and through this journey, there is also a judgment. This is the day of Christ, the day of the Lord. And then there's the day of the Lord when the Lord will return. But I believe there's a judgment now. Let me read to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, beginning in verse 12. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. In other words, it will be seen. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. I want to talk to you today, basically, about the judgment now. There is a, well, there is a judgment or a wane of your life in the scales, you might say, of what's right and what's wrong, of doing what's for the flesh doing what's for God and it is judged we have many many scriptures that that refer to the fact that we will be chastened when we do wrong there'll be uh, there'll be rewards and there'll be uh, punishments most of the time we think of that as after this world at the judgment seat of Christ and I, I think we'll talk about that in the next video but we also have the scripture that most of us are familiar with and that's that there is a sowing and there is a reaping. I truly believe from what I read in Scripture that a good majority, the most of the judgment upon our lives that we, where we don't walk with God the way we should, we don't walk the talk and we don't do what we should. We, God's t trying to tell us to not do something and we do it. God's trying to tell us to, to go left and we go right. God's trying to tell us that we should stop doing this or start doing that or we should not hang around with those people or we shouldn't speak to that person that way or we, we should go apologize to somebody or we need to ask somebody to forgive us or just in general we need to be stronger in our walk reading the Bible and so on. I believe there is a reaping of sowing now and I believe that's what he's talking about here. He's saying that if you build a foundation which is on Jesus Christ and you don't build it properly in other words, you build it, as he words here, with wood, hay, or stubble. He says it will be tried by fire. That's, that's I believe, the work of the Holy Spirit. He says he baptized you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. You know, fire is used to purify metal. And God uses that as the image for me and you. And fire is an image of God as well. And so we have in the scriptures here that there is a burning up of those things which do not stand or withstand the fire of Almighty God. Beloved, do you recognize that there is a judgment going on in the house of God and now? 
that we should have a fear of God, that we should walk in holiness because God is holy. We need to recognize that we do reap what we sow. If we sow to, sow to the flesh, the scriptures tell us in Galatians that we will, in Romans, that we will reap to the flesh. If we sow to the Spirit, we reap life eternal. Brothers and sisters, when you were saved, when you were born again, life eternal, a relationship with God, began at that moment. And if you sow to that, if you sow spiritual thoughts, spiritual work, spiritual words, spiritual thinking, if you read your word, if you, if you walk with God and walk the talk, then you're sowing to the spiritual part of your life. You're building, as the Apostle Paul says, you're building a house, a house built for God. Do you not know that God dwells in you, that he lives in you? And this is the house that you're building. It's a place for God to dwell. And so, beloved, we are to sow to the Spirit. We are to grow in the things of the Lord. We are to sow the Word of Almighty God into our heart and into our minds and into our spirit that God can, can dwell there with us and be a part of our lives and guide our lives. Beloved, I want you to understand that God is spirit. And a walk with God is a walk of faith, a spiritual walk. There's a judgment going on, going on in your life right now, beloved, if you're a Christian. God is weighing on a balance on the scales, whether you're walking the talk or not walking the talk. What you do, how you live, what you say, if, if, You'll walk the talk now, then the spirit of fire, the spirit of God, will not burn it up. If you just give a cup of water to an individual in the name of Jesus, if you do a good deed in the name of Jesus, if you do something in obedience to God's spirit, if you bless someone or say good things to someone, not just to be a good person, but because of Jesus Christ your Lord, if you're sending a message of love and obedience and representing Christ properly, then the spirit of burning, the spirit of fire, will not burn up those works. You'll be rewarded for those. And what I want you to know today is there is a judgment. There is a reward day. And now is your time that you hope that all the bad will be burned up, but you hope that you'll have something left when you go to the judgment seat of Christ to receive your rewards. Well, beloved, we can only cover so much in one video. I'm going to cover the judgment seat of Christ for the Christian in the next video. Well, this is Pastor Talk for you. This is Pastor Steve, and God bless.